welcome in the class of engineering hydrology. So, this is the first class of this subject. So, today uh, I will give you the overview on the uh, on the subject. Okay. So, first of all, uh, let us see uh, what is uh, engineering hydrology. What is engineering hydrology? So, engineering hydrology uh, it is a study of science of water. It is study of science of water. Okay. And this science is related with the this science is related with the availability of the water in the planet. Availability of the water in the planet. Okay. So, what and how and where what the quantity will be available, what the forecasting uh, uh, procedure uh, uh, we should follow, okay. what the type of uh, 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 procedures uh, in case of uh, uh, droughts, okay. in case of flooding, so, this uh, type of uh, thing we, uh, we are going to study under hydrology. Okay under hydrology, allowability of water within the planet. Okay. Hydrology deals with the occurrence, okay, with the occurrence, movement, distribution and circulation of water above the ground, below the ground or even in the atmosphere, or even in the atmosphere, right. Occurrence, movement, distribution. Okay circulation means different forms of the water. Water is available in our atmosphere as moisture. Okay. Uh, uh, when uh, uh, sunlight, okay, uh, okay. Uh, this is the part of actually hydrological cycle after uh, in this class I will tell you what are the different forms of the water. Okay. Uh, in this subject, uh, hy in this hydrology, uh, we also study about the uh, replenishment of the water resources, replenishment of the water resource. Okay, okay, <laughs> this is the extra replenishment of water resources. Okay, so this is all about uh, hydrology. Okay, uh, since engineering is there. So, that is why we will apply the uh, principles theorems that is given by metrological metrology it will be used okay, in defining the uh, uh, in solving the uh, problems. Okay. So, an objective ultimate objective of the engineering hydrology okay, that the ultimate objective of the engineering hydrology uh, uh, can be understood through this uh, uh, picture. Okay. Suppose, this is our study area, okay. this is our study area. Okay. In technical word, it is defined as catchment system, it is defined by catchment system or catchment area. Okay. Suppose, certain quantity of the water is entering to this catchment area certain water okay that water that water may be in terms of precipitation okay the major source of the major source of the water in this planet is uh, is what precipitation okay the ground water abstraction it is also another process but uh, the main is uh, through precipitation actually the, the input is uh, precipitation okay this rainfall the major part of the rainfall will be will not be available to this catchment area the part of the water the part of the water which is available to catchment area that is useful that 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 will be useful to that and what will be the major part of what are the losses losses is in terms of runoff means depending upon the slope depending upon the slope uh, if uh, the uh, precipitation is here then 
it will be water will move depending upon the gravity okay depending upon the gravity if suppose in the path okay in the path if there are the streams okay uh, ponds so the water will enter to this uh, uh, these ponds then uh, again it will flow on the surface flow on the ground surface okay so this is this is this is this is this is what this is actually runoff okay since this is uh, moving in our surface this is it is surface runoff okay surface runoff so after this loss the water which is available to catchment system is again going to is again going to is again going to uh, uh, penetrate within the ground okay since so, some part of the water some the part of the water is going to penetrate inside uh, uh, to the ground so there will be some uh, losses okay uh, catchment losses catchment losses going to penetrate or due to presence of the sunlight okay some part will be the evaporated evaporation infiltration etc there will be some uh, losses so the useful water the quantity of the useful water that we need to calculate here in terms of this input this output these are the basically output losses means output okay and uh, engineering uh, our engineering work is to uh, manage all the situation in such a manner that the uh, the requirement of the uh, requ requirement within the catchment area should be uh, should be uh, uh, should be done in proper manner okay that is the objective that is the objective all the requirements suppose in uh, within this catchment area there is the agricultural uh, land then the water required for the agriculture purpose that for must be that must be uh, available throughout the throughout the uh, crop period throughout the crop period okay throughout the crop period okay uh, for so the next thing let us uh, um, uh, talk on the applications of engineering hydrology okay applications of uh, uh, engineering hydrology okay so these are few uh, uh, areas where uh, engineering hydrology is very uh, helpful okay uh, in designing the hydraulic structures in designing the hydraulic structures okay hydraulic structures okay uh, like uh, dams okay like canals okay like canals like uh, super passes okay super passes okay okay any type of and so many more any type of uh, hydraulic structures. So, if we are going to construct the dam and uh, we do not have the clear position of the availability of the water, then it will be difficult. Therefore, uh, prior to design a dam, we uh, must have the data of last uh, at least last 25 to uh, 40 years at least so that we can so that uh, we can decide uh, uh, the different uh, um, conditions different uh, uh, elements of the dam okay prior to uh, and different location and many more thing many more parameters that we need to uh, decide okay so okay the data of last 25 years say 25 years okay that is uh, too difficult uh, the maintenance of this data is, is too difficult okay uh, at uh, certain time at a certain time suppose uh, some data is missing then what should we do then what should we do and this is very common practice okay say for example uh, some data it is not uh, consistent uh, uh, with the other data then what we should do then it means uh, we should have some techniques we should have some techniques okay so uh, engineering hydrology uh, gives is very help uh, is, uh, gives the idea to have such type of data uh, 
and that is used in hydraulic structures hydraulic structure okay hydraulic structure cannot be designed without the allowability of the water without the um, clear knowledge of the allowability of the water okay the next uh, application the next application it is flood forecasting it is flood forecasting and the management okay of course uh, flood uh, it undesirable thing okay and uh, uh, if we have the we have some idea if we have some idea if we have uh, the methods of uh, uh, flood forecasting okay method of for, uh, flood forecasting means what say uh, 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 say at this river at this river dam is constructed okay the, this dam is uh, this dam is constructed okay dam uh, dam is constructed in this uh, okay 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 dam this dam is constructed okay dam is constructed so and the water water is okay water is this is the dam okay water is stored here okay due to certain due to certain uh, conditions due to certain condition okay if the water has to be released if the water has to be released okay water that water has to be released then then this water how this water is going to affect the nearby areas okay if that water has to be released then how uh, then uh, by which extent or by in what manner it is going to affect okay that we need to calculate okay that uh, that that we need to calculate and it is uh, through through the forecasting methods of engineering hydrology okay so this is the next application ne uh, uh, this is uh, the next application is irrigation okay it is very uh, uh, the ideas uh, the concept uh, of engineering hydrology is helpful in irrigation system okay we are going uh, if we are going to design a uh, canal okay canal uh, then if we do not have the idea of the allowability of the water what the water is uh, uh, to be uh, flowing within that canal then we cannot be uh, we will not be able to uh, design okay so in irrigation okay next municipal and industrial water supply okay it is a uh, it is essential that uh, uh, water supply system water supply system for drink for uh, for municipal for municipal and industrial water okay the requirement the requirement of water to municipality and for industry okay that requirement that requirement is based on the based on the uh, hydrology based on the hydrology water requirement okay water requirement is known to us water requirement is known to us but from where that requirement will be completed okay that is that comes from the hydrology okay water requirement for industry okay say uh, x is the quantity of the water required okay from uh, industry from municipal suppose say y quantity of the water is required okay then how from where that water will be available okay that uh, that tells that is the part of the hydrology that is the part of the hydrology okay and it's uh, next is hydropower generation okay hydropower generation in hydropower generation we uh, uh, know that uh, very uh, huge quantity of the water is required okay uh, water is uh, entering in the turbine through a very uh, uh, through a height okay to rotate the turbine so the uh, and the power electricity the electricity uh, has to be provided throughout the year throughout the year okay it is not uh, uh, the means that uh, okay um, uh, for this particular for this particular for this particular month uh, the uh, uh, water is available and the uh, it is the uh, turbine is uh, in working so we are getting the uh, power okay uh, we uh, the power has to be pa power has to be uh, supplied uh, throughout the year and for that we need uh, continue uh, we need uh, the uh, water in, uh, in uh, pro proper reservoir reservoirs proper dams 
to make the allowability to uh, of power okay in pollution control okay in pollution control of uh, course uh, uh, there is the requirement of the water there is the requirement of water okay so water demand uh, uh, comes from pollution control and that demand has to be uh, uh, completed uh, fulfilled by this in uh, the next application is navigation okay navigation for navigation purpose in uh, the tourism uh, that is uh, required water is required a huge quantity of the water is required and uh, it is not uh, throughout the year it is not throughout the year some particular seasons some particular uh, months of the time it water is required so the allowability so the uh, allowability of the water in particular time period that is uh, that is much important okay uh, drought management of course uh, uh, with the knowledge of allowability of the water okay if we know that uh, this much of this much quantity of the water will be allowable and uh, if the, our demand is uh, beyond that then uh, therefore uh, we need to develop certain uh, management okay certain management okay so that was the uh, some these are some uh, applications these are some major applications of the engineering hydrology right uh, the next thing is uh, uh, World water resources. Okay, that we should know that the what are the allowability of the water. Okay, what are the allowability of the water. Okay, so we know that uh, the total water allowable, total water allowable to us, it is uh, it is one three eight zero. It is one three. It is how much? It is one three eight zero million kilometer square. Million kilometer square. This is the total water allowable. In our uh, planet, total quantity of the water allowable. Okay, and out of this total quantity, this is the total quantity. This is the total quantity, and out of this total quantity, uh, we know that 97.2, 97.2 percent of the water that is that is with uh, oceans, and therefore it is it is saline. Therefore, it is saline. Okay. Therefore, it is saline. So, 92 percent of water, okay, the allowable to us, it is not in any use. It is not in any uh, uh, in, in, uh, direct use. Means, uh, in terms of uh, 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 in terms of our domestic or industry, okay, it is use uh, its usefulness is. And out of uh, uh, the remaining is the remaining is how much? 2.8 okay if this is 100 if this is 100 so the remaining is uh, 2.8% okay out of this 2.8% of water out of this 2.8% okay this is this is this is actually fresh water okay this is fresh water 2% uh, 2.8% of the total water it is fresh but this fresh water okay to, uh, this total fresh water is also not available to us okay is also not available to us okay out of uh, this major part 2.15 percent major part 2.15 percent is stored within the glaciers is stored within the glaciers within the glaciers okay in polar ice caps major part okay and uh, uh, and so uh, what is the remaining uh, 2.8 and uh, this one so uh, this one and uh, and uh, and uh, and, uh, and some part of the water some part of uh, 0.32 percent 0.32 percent of the water that is that water is available uh, available uh, in the ground okay uh, depth at 800 meter below the ground 800 meter below the ground okay 800 meter below the ground so the remaining quantity of the water is all very less and it is only 0.33 percent it is only 0.33 percent of total water available for human use and for its consumption okay so the quantity of the water quantity of the water 
वन थ्री एट जीरो मिलियन ओके मिलियन स्क्वायर क्यूबिक किलोमीटर क्यूबिक किलोमीटर दैट दैट टर्न्स ओनली फोर पॉइंट फोर फोर पॉइंट फाइव मिलियन क्यूबिक किलोमीटर स्क्वायर ओके दिस मच क्वांटिटी ऑफ द वाटर इट इज अलेबल इन आवर प्लेनेट इट इज अलेबल इन आवर प्लेनेट ओके एंड थ्रू हाइड्रोलॉजिकल साइकिल वी विल सी दैट द एलेबिलिटी ऑफ द वाटर इन द प्लेनेट इट इज गोइंग टू इट इज इट इज गोइंग टू चेंज इन डिफरेंट 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 स्टेजेस मीन्स दैट मच ऑफ वाटर इज ओनली अलेबल टू वेस्ट बाई थ्रू डिफरेंट फार्म्स ऑफ द वाटर टू डिफरेंट फार्म्स ऑफ द वाटर से प्रेसिपिटेशन से स्नोफॉल से स्लीड सो मेनी मोर थिंग ओके एंड दिस वाटर पॉइंट थ्री थ्री परसेंट ऑफ द वाटर विच इज अवेलेबल टू एस फॉर ह्यूमन यूज थ्रू आउट वर्ल्ड वाइड वी हैव द एनुअल प्रेसिपिटेशन वी हैव द एनुअल प्रेसिपिटेशन एज हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर इट इज एन इस्टिमेशन दैट हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर ऑफ द प्रेसिपिटेशन इज रिसीव्ड थ्रू आउट द ईयर ओके एनुअली वी रिसीव हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर ऑफ द प्रेसिपिटेशन ओके now uh, what is the resource uh, of what is the water resource in our india okay in our india in our india uh, first of all the input the input is average annual precipitation okay that is that is the input actually that is the input for the water resource and it is 119.4 cm okay it is 119 119.4 cm against against the annual average uh, precipitation of world as 100 cm right and its geographical area it is uh, 3.28 into 10 to power 6 km square therefore total quantity of the water available total quantity of the water available it is how much 3916 cubic km okay so this one this much of the water is uh, available to us uh, through uh, precipitation okay and since we know that uh, uh, this available water has to uh, go certain losses okay uh, uh, this one water okay 3196 okay including snowfall total water okay this is due to uh, 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 precipitation and due to snowfall and uh, snowfall total water participation uh, it is uh, it is it is a uh, 4000 it is 4000 km square so out of this 4000 uh, km square okay uh, we must have the calculation for its losses we have must have the calculation for the losses the calculation for the losses uh, first loss uh, first the major loss it for evaporation evaporates evaporation okay evaporation loss and uh, it is it has been estimated that the uh, that uh, out of this 700 cubic kilometer it is uh, going to loss it is going to loss every year every year it is going to loss okay the next uh, uh, part of the water it is uh, water soaked into ground water soaked into ground and uh, uh, it is a uh, 2150 infiltrated uh, that uh, this one part uh, this much part of the water is going to infiltrate to the ground okay so the net water available is how much the net water available is 1150 only kilometer square okay the available of water is only that net available water is only uh, 1150 right so Out of total, uh, out of total, uh, total four thousand. Okay, out of total four thousand, uh, we have this much part of the water. Okay, and if we compare the percentage worth water available within India, then, then uh, it will be it will be how much? It will be one one five zero divided by total total uh, total um, worldwide uh, is what worldwide it is uh, it is uh, worldwide. it is it is uh, where yeah this one 4.5 okay it is 
5. So, it is 4.5 into 10 to power 6 into 100. So, it comes to be 0 0.025 percent, 0 0.025 percent, the worth what are available within the India. Okay. So, uh, the next thing is, uh, okay. uh, next thing is, okay. uh, so this is the uh, idea, this is the idea uh, that actually, uh, okay, that data gives the idea, okay, that data gives the idea how to, how, uh, how the management of the water um, is to be there, okay, what should be the procedure, okay, how uh, uh, different losses uh, uh, can be minimized, okay, uh, evaporation loss, okay, it is a very common, okay, we cannot do much more, okay. Uh, we cannot do much more evaporation loss in sunlight is there if sunlight is there okay and it is open to a small sphere it is the common process we cannot remove okay uh, but what we can do what the engineering practice can be uh, can be done uh, the engineering practices can be done uh, by changing the uh, cultivation agriculture process technique of the agriculture okay uh, uh, so that uh, uh, same quantity of the water is available to uh, more plant. Okay. Uh, infiltration, water infiltration, it is also unavoidable. Okay, also una unavoidable. So these, uh, th so the engineering uh, hydrology is a very challenging uh, task to uh, have certain type of, of data. Okay, the uh, at the last, uh, I would like to tell you the different forms of the water different forms of the water. Okay, different forms of the water, it, it is basically hydrological cycle, it is the hydrological cycle. So, uh, uh, water hydrological cycle is what? Uh, it is a water circulating cycle, okay. it is water circulating cycle which shows, which shows how water is, uh, how water circulates from one place to one place, one place to other place from one farm to another farm with a time, with a time. Okay. And the component of the hydrological cycle, uh, it is a precipitation, evaporation, precipitation, evaporation, transpiration. Okay. Precipitation is what? Precipitation, okay. uh, we know rainfall, okay. rainfall, okay. uh, we are also different forms of rainfall that we will uh, discuss in uh, next class. Okay. Evaporation, okay. uh, presence of sun heat. Okay. Uh, in the earth is the responsible for this evaporation okay transpiration transpiration through plants through pl uh, plants uh, the water evaporation of the water okay um, transpirated evapotranspiration need okay uh, transpiration transpiration okay uh, uh, plant the requirement of the water by plant evapotranspiration okay through uh, leaves uh, plant uh, uh, the water require the water going in uh, 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 um, to atmosphere okay infiltration okay input water which is uh, uh, infiltrated to the ground okay infiltrated to the ground that is infiltration runoff apart from that the water which is moving on the uh, surface that is runoff so these are different forms of the water and and the uh, water budget equation is input uh, input uh, that is a uh, input uh, oh, that is input minus output output is equal to uh, uh, capacity capacity at any at any at any at any at any catchment area right so uh, today uh, today we uh, talked and different uh, uh, objectives, uh, different applications, different uh, farms of the waters. Okay, in the next class uh, we will be continuing on the next topic of the hydrology. Okay, thank you very much.